wholeness and balanced vibrations family let me be the first to welcome you as a reflection of you i'm your brother curtis aru and this is the one tribe podcast home of the daily spectrum resonance where we share solutions relating to physical mental and spiritual well-being with sovereignty as our goal we discuss what works with the depth guests tribe no theory just raw unapologetic truth because truth is nature and we honor her gifts so leave your esoteric shoes at the door and let's make soul connections with every step forward let's keep vibing in resonance at top speeds because the portal is now open wholeness this is just like you said change your habits change your lifestyle this is one of the first times I think the human consciousness has had to learn something together in a very long time. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's almost like this, this you know, group experience, right? Mm-hmm. And with the blockchain just being thrown in there, like a, literally like a, a spark, you know what I'm saying? The light, the source of the light, right, and it right, just right. Right. <laughs> itself. You know what I'm saying? Yes. It just itself. Like people have to learn, they have to learn now. They yeah. have to seek that knowledge and then that knowledge will seek them. And now it, it, it's almost like a conundrum. It breaks open, you know, the constraints mm-hmm. of the matrix, especially when they learn like, what, we don't have real money? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, what do you mean it's not back in gold? You know what I'm saying? That's right. Like, and, and it's like almost like an evolutionary step forward. You know, because the blockchain is light years ahead, literally light years ahead of what exists in the status quo, you know, and like humanity in itself will learn that and they will come to appreciate that, you know, and I think I think just that group experience of, you know, almost, you know, cerebral enlightenment to a new concept, a new idea uh, that I don't think that's happened in a very long time for humans, you know, I can't pinpoint one, you know, (laughs) That, that's all I'm saying. This might be kind of big, right? I think we, we talk about uh, ancient times. We talk about the um, the deluge, where like all these you no know, things had a flood, you no know, floods everywhere before the fall, and everybody yeah. had to learn to you know operate after that. But that's kind of like you know, and even we in this whole what they call it, uh, Bakhtan. I forget it's this, the era of time. I think they, they called it in um in the mind history, but it's the like 26,000 year cycle. Yeah, 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 yeah. one rotation. Boom, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Exactly, so we're in that space now. And hey, hey, great, I think they call it a great year. Yeah, like where, it, 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 I forgot the, the year. 26,000, 20, 20, it's between 24 and 26,000 years. Right. Um, that, that each each uh, age, you know, 2,000 years, each, each uh, zodiac sign has its own time. <laughs> and this actually goes to the Bible, right? Yeah. Because a lot of people say, you know, that the Bible is actually like a code. It's metaphors, right? And and uh, they had two ages in the Bible that were mentioned specifically. I know one of them, he came down blowing the ram's horn because mm-hmm. I think they were entering, um, what's the ram? Tor- the Aries. Or- Aries. Aries, right? Yeah, they were entering Aries, the water bringer, right? And they, and they came down and blew the ram's horn. And then it was another one that was for, and I think the Jesus with two fish and the fish fed the series, that was because they were entering the age of Pisces, you know, for the next 2,000 years. Um, you know, and so the Bible has been kept, you know, almost evolving over time, you know, with these different stories and these different books that have either been added to it or taken out of it. You know, so it's interesting just looking at this, like what this book is going to be. Mm-hmm. Right, was the next thing unfolding and seeing like yeah. other, like, say, uh, prophecies coming to them. Like, oh, okay, this is what they meant. But even though they just found out, uh, uh, well, I just found out, but remembering, um, the Ethereum, not the <laughs> Ethiopian calendar is 2012 when the Ethiopian calendar, you know, yeah, 2012 was like the era, you know, like that, yeah, uh, in the, the beginning, mm-hmm. uh, right. Exactly. Beginning of the end, the end of the beginning. You know what I'm saying? Somewhere in there. Somewhere yeah. up in there. And it's, 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 we we in the times. And I'm honored to be in the times with you, my bro. <laughs> That's cool, right? Right? Right. Cool. You know, we, when they talk about like, you know, spirit, you know, spirit to be in the cabin of human experience. 
It's like, yo, if you chose to come down in these exactly. moments, so you got to right. be a boss. And that's what I'm saying. Like, people don't even realize it. Like, this is one of the most interesting times in history. Because literally everything is changing right now. Like, I look at I look at these young kids that they're these young kids like 17, 18 years old. You know what I'm saying? They got like TiVo, Twitch, you know, and, and TikTok. And I'm like, I, I we had Monopoly, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Right, right. We had right. you know? right. We still using rotary phones when we went right. to my grandma's house. Thank you know, and, 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 and uh, yeah, oh. so much technology. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. And I was talking to somebody last night of um, just talking about how, how fast it was like, yo, we like at the next, like it could be a year in everything that we know it is it, changed technologically, technologically, like coming into the blockchain. It's like once like certain things click. Like it's like a domino effect when you stay right. in the same city. Like you can right. just boom. Yeah, it's like, like a whirlpool, you know, and sometimes it's a whirlpool of knowledge. I remember I was in Atlanta for a couple of years and it was like every other day I was having an epiphany or I was mm -hmm. connecting like ideas that I hadn't even thought about in years, uh, just thinking this stuff out. And uh, a lot of it actually came, you know, and I know your viewers are, uh, you know, holistic and all that came from taking monotomic gold. Um, I was taking monatomic gold and I was taking colloidal yeah. silver. And it's like, I think between the two of those, you yeah. just yeah. activate something. Top speed. And, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was just having these sparks like crazy. Um, you know, just, just, just knowledge just coming in from all sources. So if your viewers don't know, uh, Secret Energy had some amazing monatomic gold at the time. Yes. And okay. I, uh, I picked yeah. that up and uh, it worked. I still take it to this day. I take some, you know, every other day usually. It just helps keep you clear, especially out here, man, in Vegas. You got a lot of, you got a lot of crazy, crazy entities that, uh, you know, traps around out here. You know, so it's like you just got to keep yourself protected. We're crystals at all time, you know. Uh huh. And, uh, yeah, we got 25% uh, discounts coming through uh, starting tomorrow, Cyber Monday. We'll definitely check this out. Yeah, man, don't you got that hand butter too? I gotta, I yes. gotta get some more. Right. Tell people yeah. about that. That stuff is amazing. You know, right, it's, right, right. It's, so it's amazing, mouth. like hand cream. I remember when I was doing my videos, I would actually put it on my hand. It was like a little, you know. I said that way, I knew whatever I touched, it was gonna be blessed. You know, what I'm saying? Nah, I say, man. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, I put it on my hands and my feet. I was like, I want my, I would wear slippers. I was like, I want my feet right. to see that. <laughs> <laughs> everywhere, everywhere, oh, everywhere. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta get some more. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be getting some today. So you'll, you'll see that when it comes Cool, cool, smooth, smooth. All right, so it's funny how um, you know, we continue to, to flow into spaces that it just perfect resonance. Um, uh, it's not forgetting me knock out these um, announcements. Uh, sales on well, one tribe that I you can check out on the website on the front page. Uh, the codes will be there. Um, for the discounts uh, for Cyber Monday, Cyber Monday and Black Friday and all that, you know, holiday sales, we would say. Uh, also, you can find us on library.tv as well as my supreme brother here, Brandon Kelly, got the top handle on the crypto on Bitcoin. Uh, check us out there. Uh, we can even earn cryptocurrency just by being there. Only been in there about three, four months and I already made like 30 cents. <laughs> That's more than YouTube has paid me. In Listen, I, would, I wish I would have kept every little 30 cent of Bitcoin I had four years ago. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The 30s add up. Right. Exactly. <laughs> also, to keep um, one of our sponsors, we're not sponsored, but uh, one of the, the prime uh, email addresses that, you know, who are really, you know, about what they're saying is called protonmail.com. They have a secure email address if you're looking, about, looking for security because within the blockchain and cryptocurrency, you are becoming the bank. So the bank got to have type flight security. Proton Mail is one of those email addresses that aids in that secure email address. Uh, create your aliases there and come holler at me when you want to you know, do some crypto onboarding, how to get yourself in the space and then swing, swing through yeah, brother yeah. Brandon Kelly to um, to learn how to chart this thing. Yeah, I think, I think that's one of the things we could speak about because uh, if people really don't know about these apps that are available right now that are specifically designed to protect your privacy on the blockchain, 
Um, that's what the blockchain does better than anything because it's a trustless nest network. It's basically everybody knows everybody about everything, you know? So it's like no ambu ambiguity. It's no uh, disinformation. And it's actually pure intention, the, the design. So, you know, with these social media apps and everything that's happening, I think the more people that learn what platforms are active right now, Brave Browser is one of them. Uh, like you said, ProtonMail, that's your email. Um, Telegram is a lot more secure and private than, you know, Facebook Messenger. So it's like all these different little entities that have these main, oh, and then library for the videos. Cause it's like that you get paid just to make content and to watch content. And that's right. it's a whole new concept of an economy. You know what I'm saying? It's like everybody makes money when everybody makes money, you see? So it's just, and that's, and that's the idea, I think that humans are going to have to realize, uh, and that's gonna ultimately break the paradigm. You know, when, when yeah. people realize the difference between A and B, B will win by a landslide. Um, and it's interesting, like even with the price of Bitcoin right now, is that like 18, 19,000? You know, and that's with probably five years of suppression from, you know, the powers that be like, just look at the price of gold, how much gold has gone up in five years. Bitcoin has about the same growth rate, but gold is gold and gold been gold for 2000 years, you know. So it's like once they can't control those floodgates anymore. It's crazy. It's Trying yeah. so hard to keep it, like you know, uh, uh, PayPal getting on it, uh, right? Uh, the Coinbase, like they yeah. get like more intrusive, like when they they're the same people, like taking all your information, still the right. alphabet boy, just trying to get your data. Put it on, put it on a different railroad track now. That's it. That's <laughs> it. All right. So last announcement before we dive into this thing. This uh, on the December twelfth at our holistic shop here in Columbia, South Carolina. Uh, Solomon's Temple is called, we have an event called Christos and Crypto, where we're gonna have crypto, uh, I'll be doing some onboarding at crypto, on cryptocurrency and talking a little bit about the blockchain. And we're gonna have crystals from around the world with Supreme Danny Cosmos. So we'll be there for most of that day. You know, we'll have crystals that you can purchase and talking about fractals. We got to talk about the crystals in there too, because it's the same mathematics you know, that's in there that flows throughout nature. And we just want to share with the people in real time. So come out and see us. Don't worry about COVID. We got an herbalist in there. He got everything. Right. People forget that, you know, humans cured, cured each other before CVS was ever invented. You know what I'm saying? Like, nature been around for millions of years. CVS, 1865. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, go there. <laughs> Yo, and stuff, I want you to. I wanted you to actually dispel one of the myths. Um, I actually came through yesterday. I was randomly talking to another guy about random. Another sister. No, we're gonna be doing a show with Supreme Brother Brandon Kelly. Um, uh, talking about um uh, cryptocurrency and onboarding crystals. She was into crystals, but she's like, I don't, I don't do Brandon Kelly. He 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 hollered at me about some. He contacted me about cryptocurrency. I was like. That wasn't him. I mean, you saying somebody, somebody <laughs> scammed you, and somebody Wait, like sharing you your. Yeah, you said oh. you went. You said you sent her a message in her inbox about. Wow. Know, in, in the crypto <laughs> like, oh okay, all right, maybe. No, you didn't know. <laughs> Why did you say I something? Know. Right. I know. I know. I know. I mean, if she was bad enough, I might have just been like, right. right. Oh, have you heard about Bitcoin? <laughs> <laughs> right. 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 <laughs> <laughs> she was an elder. She in her late fifties. I was like, I don't think she. I don't think he hollered at you. I don't. I, don't, I find it hard to be true. I guess that's flat. What do they call it? Imitation is the best word of flattery. Right. right? So hey, I, all right, that's cool. And that's my thing. I mean, if that happens, that's fine. But I think I'm so authentic and. And uh, I think my intention is so pure that it can't be. There is no carbon copy. You know what I'm saying? Um, because what I'm giving people hasn't been done before, number one. And number two, nobody else is doing it. So it's like, um, if somebody's going to scam you, that should be a red flag right away because I give it away for free. You can take it, learn it, use it, teach kids with it, feed your grandkids, and you know what I'm saying? Be human again. Like it's already done. 
And so there is no, there is a, I don't, I don't, I don't need to do anything like that. I think the more people that actually hear me, you know, ultimately the more people I'm able to help in the future, because it's, it's simple knowledge that once it's learned, it can never be unlearned. Right. And it's amazing what you can build on truth when you, when you actually know it. Exactly. You know? exactly. So beware. Yeah, I'm not having to that video. Uh, if, if she has information on it, tell her to send it to me or she can send it to you to send it to me. That way I can, let my people know, you know what I'm saying? And we, that's a problem. That's, that's what's easy. Like the, the roaches scatter when the light is shining. So it's like, we just each shine our own beacon and, and keep these cockroaches moving, you know? <laughs> Truth be told. Get them you know? out of here. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's moving. <clears throat> we was talking about today, the, the highlight of today is fractals. Fractals are everywhere, all a part of life there. You know, I just thought about this discussion today. Word. I was on the strip. I promise you, I was on the strip, and I saw that how they how they wrote the Cromwell Hotel, right? Yeah. Right. And then, but my whole mind went to this talk right here. So y'all getting it fresh off, fresh off the presses, straight through the wire. I'll screen share and walk you through some of this stuff. Uh, yeah, that's amazing. Fractals, dog. Um, I'm I'm sorry for cutting you off. Uh, Thank you, bro. That's cool. you gotta you gotta enable it. Oh yeah, okay, I got I got you. I, got you, I, got you. I know I know my mind has already prepared for this talk about three or four hours ago. Nice, nice. You, know, nice. you guys will get get the uh, the freshest version of this information. Um, let's see here. All right, you got it. Yes, clear. And then, and then you gotta, uh, is it screen sharing? Can you click on my screen on your, or actually no, I think you're good. So as long as mine is showing, I, I don't know. Yeah. Mine is showing to your people? Okay, good. Yeah. All right, so fractals. Um, fractals are interesting because what I, what I thought about a long time ago, and, and they're gonna give you this long drawn out uh, explanation that you won't be able to understand, but the simplest way to think about it is a fractal is a fraction. It's a smaller piece of something that can be copy and pasted by nature over and over and over and over and over again to create a larger version of itself, right? And this leaf right here is a very good example. You'd see if you broke down you know, one leaf, you would have about 30 new leaves on that one leaf. And then you break down that one leaf inside the pieces of the leaf are like, Inter intermediate leaps, right? And, and so a fractal is a fraction, right? Another thing to compare it to are reptiles. And this actually goes back to the ancient um, theology that serpents ruled this world and uh, created this world. Ironically enough, a sperm cell looks a lot like a snake, just swimming in water. And so from reptiles, you get the two words repeated tile. And that, I, I believe, are actually the original concept for fractals. The scales on these reptiles, these repeated tiles, to where each individual piece makes up a greater and equal piece of the whole. You see? And so you have these scales, and then it's scaled up, you know, as I showed you in that tree example, it's scaled up through space and time to give you the bigger image, right? So you got fractals, you got reptiles, and you have scales. And they're literally all referring to the same pattern. And that's nature using the copy and paste function, you know, to make life easier for itself, right? And so now, and then I told you, I thought about this when I saw the sign for, oh man, not that guy. I'm mad it was named after him, though. Uh, that's the dude it was named after for the Cromwell. Um, Cromwell Hotel logo. And what they did here was right there. Mm -hmm. You see that M and that W? Mm -hmm. It's like one going, one is going up, one is going down, but yet they're equal and opposite to each other, right? And so I saw that logo, but that actually in itself, that's a fractal and that's a scale. Right, the M is basically the W in the equal and opposite direction, right? And that's all fractals do is they basically balance each other out to build 
you know, one plus one equals two, one plus one equals two, one plus one equals two. Over time, you can have something amazing. And, and see, they know this stuff, but they just put it in these abstract little logos to tell these simple truths. And if you look at that jagged line in the middle, that's basically like an energy line. You know what I'm saying? That's like the, the double-headed lightning bolt, the, the sine wave almost running uh, yeah. through. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, and so one thing we can do with fractals, because they exist in nature, they exist in trees, they exist in economy cycles, um, you know, we can, we can take fractals and use them to basically give us the repeated patterns that are happening inside of the market, right? Um, and we can look at like, let's look at Ethereum. I think Ethereum is a good one. Right. And the way we do this is with our Fibonacci line, um, because one thing you should remember in nature, there are fractals, but the fractals are basically reflections of this pattern. And this is the Fibonacci wheel almost. See that wheel in the middle, right? where it starts at like one, two, three, five, eight, 13, 34. Uh, it's basically like the building sequence for nature. And each one of those little pieces in that sunflower is actually a fractal because it's a smaller piece of the infinite self. You see what I'm saying? Like if that sunflower grew out forever, it would keep growing in perfect order because it's set to the golden spiral. And that's that Fibonacci sequence in the back. Curiously enough, the Milky Way is set to that same spiral. The double helix in your DNA is set in that same spiral. Uh, hurricanes form in that same spiral, you know, and babies are born in that same spiral, right? Um, waves, like it also goes back to water. It goes back to life. It goes back to the identity of the individual within the infinite, right? And so that's the concept for this whole thing, right? And it, it's basically like even energy flowing in space and time forever. Um, one thing we could do when we look at the charts is we can identify different areas that most likely will be repeating over time, right? And uh, it's a lot easier when you scale it out. But for example, right, we could just use this section of the chart this section of the chart. And this section of the chart. That's easy, very good, right? Yeah, that's very good. Thank you. Not the one? Yeah, thank you. No, I'm not sure. No, that's good. All right. Um, and so if we look at these sections, section one, two, and three, at first glance, it would look like they're all unrelated, right? Um, but using this Fibonacci line and the intersections, and this is what I do for a living is teach people how to, you know, take this esoteric, you know, knowledge and apply it to forensic and financial forecasting. Uh, this is called charting like a boss. So if your people want to learn more of uh, how they can do this themselves, they just type in on Google, uh, how to chart like a boss, and that will give them a free playlist that teaches this methodology, right? And so prime example, right? I told you it's three sections of that chart, one, two, and three. Let me uh, change this real quick. And I'm gonna just walk you guys through this that way. I've never done like a detailed explanation. And one of the things I teach is that the energy in all of these cycles begins at one point and ends at one point. So the green is where it began at, and then this red is where it ended at. Now, also, you should know that those are basically the uh, intersections, the major intersections between the white and the blue lines. The blue is a 77, the white is a seven, and it's the basic, basically the major influx points. One of the other things I teach is when you have major intersections like that, you buy in the red, you sell in the green, you would have done that, you would have made 35% Bitcoin in 97 days, right? Um, and it's on average, granted, you would engage in a lot more trades up in there, but on average, those are the two best intersections to sell into. Now, when we take a Fibonacci scale, which I just told you, this Fibonacci ratio is nature extending itself out uh, for, for um, you know, the continuation 
of equilibrium, right? But if we do a Fibonacci scale right here and just go from that intersection to that one, this basically gives you the harmonics for the entire system. So as you can see, one is indeed related to two because when two comes into place, right there on that green line, and I, I call that the money line, the 1.6, if it's in green, it's making money, right? And so basically this little cycle happened, which allowed that cycle happen, which in turn allowed that cycle to happen. And you can literally break them up into chunks like this, right? And if we want to get all the way up here to three, three is basically the extension, the extension and termination of all this energy. So whatever energy came into the system in box one, right there between the four, six and the four, two, that's where it's maximized at in point three. And so you can see it, although we move out in time, we still go up on the same scale. Uh, and that's what the Fibonacci does in trading is it literally takes all the energy in the chart and draws it back to the same scale that repeats in nature forever. And so that's one of the things I do uh, with my channel is I teach people how to use this tool. It's called freestyling on a Fibonacci because you see, I just did it in one tape. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, it's a movie. He don't, he don't write it down, me neither. I just come in and make that fire, bam! You know what I'm saying? You go to the four, two to the four, six, and it's like, and that's the completion of this cycle. Now, something's gonna happen at some point. I think Bitcoin's gonna come back down here and then it's going to have to make a decision. Does it want to stay flat to go up or does it want to stay flat to go down? And if it goes down, then it'll probably continue to go down much, much accelerated than it would before it went up, right? Mm -hmm. There you go, man. Um, okay. Does that make sense? Is that good? Is that relative? Indeed, indeed. Oh, yeah, yeah, and, and it comes natural. And um just having that tool there with those ratios being a drop, being able to drop it at a particular point uh, that you see built into, let's say, the boss method and those intersections, they make things extremely more easier. And I think you in your playlist, you walk through it even more, you give it more and more detail, and you take more time. And I think some of the shows, yeah, it's just, you know, it's a lot of content you can go through and get that, that walk through. And it's beautiful because, again, when you... I look at it as you typing into the zone, like this. You, this is the zone. Like this is you, this is your nature. Literally, it's your nature. It's like the, from the hands. Like you can see it in your hands. See the genetics. <laughs> and you tapping into self, sharing that transparency on that inward code on the on the actual uh, grounds. I actually had the privilege of seeing. Um, so I was thinking with the um, you know seeing all the fractals and crypto. And then one of those, those aha moments came too while, uh, while I was just sitting out in, in, at home. And um, I was like, you ever heard of Sankofa? You heard of Sankofa? Sankofa. Sankofa. Yeah. Sankofa is a, a, an actual symbol um, in, the, uh, in the tree um, natives in uh, in West Africa, Ghana, they use it as a symbol. The symbol just means uh, we're gonna use a Dinkra symbol. The Dinkra symbols are like fractals in themselves that that mm -hmm. you know say way more than the symbol. And so this particular symbol is a bird that is always looking back, um, mm -hmm. it's moving forward, but it's looking back. And sometimes it's, it's seen with the egg in its mouth, and mm -hmm. it basically go back and get what you forgot before you move forward. Make sure you have right. it back then before you move forward. And that's fractals all day. Are you, are you taking a fraction of what you think, well, and, and you move forward. Right. And right. Right. Exactly. And, and the egg symbolizes no future, the seed. Like wow. you move right. forward with, with the egg. And that's the uh, Sankofa bird. And I was like, because I was trying to you know, think of the blockchain. I'm like, blockchain, okay. And I was breaking it down. I was like, okay, that's like Sankofa in the blockchain. And Kofa yeah. in the blockchain. I was like, okay, like what? I was like, do that anyways. I should be a website or some shit. So I was like, I looked it up and I found another video. It was on uh, the Ethereal. Ethereal interviewed um, the queen of uh, the Congo. She was she was brought into to to have a conversation about the blockchain. Right. Like, Yo, San Kofa. They gotta teach. They gotta teach these old oligarchs what the future is gonna be. Mm -hmm. That's what they're not saying. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. They got to get them up to speed, too. Facts. Facts. You know? so, she, so she came through. And I, was like, I forgot I forgot it up there. Not, um, she came through. And sister is, is beautiful. Like, she is so, 
Like you can feel her energy. Her so it, it, I was like, and the royalty coming here, you no know, talking about the blockchain. And she was so humble about it. And when we talk about history, like it's a, a huge gap when it comes to adding more uh, African or El or one of those words, uh, El Kibulani, El Kibulani, you know, um, knowledge because a lot of that stuff was snuffed out. You know, these right. natives out here with sticks don't know shit about technology. Like, right, right. Savages. Savages. <laughs> Savages. Right. So the system was like I like how real quick sidetrack. I like yeah. how black people make make take something as a as a threat and make it an opportunity. Like you damn right I'm a savage. You know what I'm saying? I'm killing them. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? Right. 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 Crazy. Right. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah. You give it to it, you give it, you give us limits, we're gonna make lemonade. You know, right. we go we're gonna use it to uplift and empower our people. Usually, hopefully. Exactly. You know. Exactly. exactly. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. My bad. So, so she was coming through, and she was just like, you know, and this basically again, I, you got to listen to her, the, uh, the YouTube joint, and um, it's short and sweet too. She was just saying so humbly. She was just like, yo, uh, and y'all coming, you know, talking about you know this higher technology and you know blockchain. And he's like, you know, we've been doing fractals as long as you know African they, they had fractals. So we built in fractals. Like we, yeah. this was like, and so I was, <laughs> she was just kind of pulling on talking about the examples. And I was like, yo, this is, and these African fabrics that they wear all the time, nothing but fractals. Right, yeah. It's nothing but fractals. That's pretty like amazing. Now, like, how we braid our hair, like this is, this is fractals. Right, the repetition, yeah. Yeah, I was like, yo, this is all, all of this. It's, 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 she's like, yeah, this is, we've been had fractals. Like we, wow. this is not, uh, you know, new to Africa. Right. So when trying to introduce, she's like, so, so to the Western world, these things may be uh, new and maybe hard to adapt for the masses, but you bring, she's like, don't forget Africa in the, in the forward progression of, of the blockchain because it comes easy to us. And when she talked about, she talked about cell phones. She's like, cell phones was here, here before it hit the West. She was talking about the Congos. And that's where yeah. they even you know, go to the Congos to get the stuff for the cell phones. Um, mm. Like we build cities, but this is an old you no know, part of a ruin. But um, the walls of Benin, it, it's built in, in nothing but fractals. The, yeah. How we do the crop, the, um, the corrals um, for the um, for the cattle it would be nothing but fractals. How do you set it up? You know, built onto nature. And this, like, this is one picture from um, <coughs> yeah. uh, skin. It's nothing fractals. So the so we talk about um, reptiles too. You know the spots in the spots in, in the cats and the zebras right. and the right. uh, this is all like, yeah. all over the place, man. It's amazing. That's almost like a little seat of life, little tourist feel. Exactly. Road out exactly. of yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty cool. Um, and I think, and that's what I'm saying. I think this knowledge, even this simple knowledge that none of us were really taught, and right. you know, elementary school, in high school, in middle school, right. like where was this? Right. You know, it, it, it with, well, purposely with help. You know, right, yeah, you know, they taught us, they taught us Fibonacci and math, but it was just one, three, five, eight, eleven. You know, right. it was just with numbers with, and and pi, like they gave us the formula, like two right. two pi r squared. You know, pi right. radius. But yeah, they didn't teach us any of this useful insight. Like, yeah, everything is connected to everything. Yeah, this is an Indian temple right here. Like, uh, yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah, man, it's uh, Angkor Wat. Like, again, it's it's throughout the throughout. World, like you hear, um, hey, Daniel, yeah, uh, go back to Angkor Wat. I was gonna say that one of the things your people could start looking for, like the symbols, especially in architecture, um, they have this stuff all over the place. But uh, but essentially that 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 uh, cone on top of it is yeah. symbolic for the um, pineapple, and this represents your uh, pineal gland. And also is very, very, very powerful in the sequence, the matrix, the mathematical sequence that those cones in the pineapple actually grow in. Um, you know, that's like the Fibonacci scale in itself because they're growing one growing this way and one's growing the other way. And it creates like this little vortex of energy within itself. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I think it's such a powerful fruit. And it's like one of the best tasting in the world. So you got to think about something. If the world was your mother, wouldn't it make the best food for you taste the best? You know? Right. <laughs> like, like uh, how, you know, so it's just like, you know, the, some of the, but we eat some of the worst stuff. And, right. uh, 
Man. You know, and then, so yeah, the pineapple is is representative Pine of your uh, pineal gland, right? Mm -hmm. And that's uh, your third eye. This is basically your differentiator of uh, knowledge <laughs> here in this world. And what you choose to accept as truth is, is often, you know, uh, affected or Im implied by the activation of your pineal gland. They knew about this stuff in ancient Egypt. The outline of the pineal gland and the whole hypothalamus system is actually very representative of the eye of Ra, you know, Ra being light, being the sun. So when you activated your pineal gland, you were therefore enlightened and consequently a child of the sun because we all come from the same source. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And uh, what else? Pineal, pineapple. Pine <laughs> Right, and the pine cone, right? Some pine trees around here, a bunch of them. Yeah, pine tree, pine cone. And pine cones are very interesting because uh, one of the stories I learned about them is like, they actually saved the world. Pine cones saved the world. When fire, forest fires happen, right? When forest fires happen, and they happen all over the world, like every hundred years or so, a forest should burn down. Uh, because what happens when that fire runs across that forest floor, the pine cones, the tens of millions of pine cones that have been dropped in the forest floor, explode and that seed that they leave behind grows a new tree right mm -hmm. but it takes the heat for the pine cone to actually for it to actually become a tree you see what, what i'm saying that? yeah 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 because they have a seed that's built inside this thing to where it actually releases when heat is applied to it and mm -hmm. uh that's very similar to the pineal gland too because it's like you know once you activate it uh then it's almost like a spark of light and that light you know basically changes Right, that comes uh, through with um with because it's a, a secretion that the pineal gland you know secretes it's like the DMT type. I don't know yeah. if DMT is the synthetic version, but it's a it secretes that, and that's where you let's say in complete darkness you see light, like when you get into those deep sleeps. You know. It's, yeah, 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 it, it, and and that's what I was telling you about the monatomic gold because I think that actually helps a lot. Um, so I don't know if Savan is still selling it in the secret energy store. I went on yeah. there to try to buy some more. So yeah, yeah if, he, if he still has it, I mean, it's it's very good. I took it, I take it, um, and I think that kind of stuff is very, very, very valuable uh, for helping people, you know, see. And that's that's all that's all we advocate for is, you know, the world is essentially going to create its own truth based on the tens of millions of truths that people have accepted as truth in their life, right? What people don't realize is if everybody on this world thought, like genuinely, genuinely thought that they could grow wings and fly around, then the next day, everybody on this earth would have wings and be flying around, right? This is an experience to where everybody is connected, but the individual is king of their own mind, right? One of the things I learned, you know, having a, a father who was in a very big law enforcement uh, and, and growing up was that prison is really is not made to reform you. Uh, it's made to break your mind. Because once they can break your mind, you no longer become a threat to them. Um, you basically have your cage, you fit in it, and that's your lot in life. Uh, you know, and, and I think one of the things that people have, especially with this Bitcoin thing, is to start to look at how the system is designed and start to look at how you fit into it, right? Everybody want to think that because you got a, a paycheck for 30 years, you have some job security. Like, no, your choice to accept that fake money as payment was the company's security. You see what I'm saying? Right. And, and, exactly. and that's the difference. You always have a choice. A dollar is only valuable when somebody's willing to accept it as a dollar. Mm -hmm. once, once people don't want that funny money, you know, with them dead white guys' faces on it, don't none of them show up. Why black people still using it? I never figured that out myself. Why we made our own dollar? You know what I'm saying? These are just questions you gotta ask yourself. These are just questions come come across my mind from time to time. Not saying they're my questions, just saying that somebody should be asking. And uh, you know, and I think once that's people, that's 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 again, learning they said you forget the past, you're doomed, you're doomed to repeat it. Like you it's gonna happen again. So knowing that the fractal, right the fractal, the fractal will repeat itself. Good, bad, up, down, left, right. It don't matter. If you don't make a choice to jump on a different towel, then you stuck in the same pattern. And that's how it works. I agree. Boom, drop the mic. <laughs> One take Drake, baby. That's all we need.
Let it rest. Hope these words help somebody, though. I think this one will. I think this one was. I think this one was pretty cool. Indeed, indeed, indeed. And so, uh, with the sister that when you get a chance, check out the you know this this is somebody I know that we gotta get in contact with. The sister is 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 just humble. She is, she is dope. She's in the Congo, the center yeah. of the continent. Right. And, um, she she's dope. She again she she's unapologetically a representative of the culture and she has the uh, the beautiful aura to to take charge as well as receive you know mm -hmm. like don't leave the continent don't leave my people out of you know this building you got um i think zimbabwe right. a minute ago right had we've been here longer than y'all have been here been here <laughs> you, all the technology <laughs> you're using came don't from nobody, here don't nobody say this <laughs> Right, what do you mean you gonna leave us out of the goddamn evolution of the blockchain? Oh uh, yeah. You know? yeah. So and then yeah. Yeah. it's amazing because it's literally bringing the world together to solve a problem together. When has that happened? Mm. Last. You see what I'm saying? Like, and this is what happened when the problem gets so damn bad that you literally need a whole solution implemented through the minds of the world. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's amazing, right? Right. Right. It's amazing. amazing. So, yeah, and these are interesting times, man. I yeah, think man. this is the beginning of the end and the beginning of the beginning as well. Hey, you know? I say, again, come to build, man. So yeah, practice, man. We got we in the space. Though. Check out the video. Check out the system. And knowing that this is an integral part of itself. You, if you, the blockchain is you. Like those who tune in, the blockchain is you. Oh, well, one more thing I want to bring through. So, so the blockchain communicates everything has an open source ledger. Like everybody's getting the same information at the same damn time, and there's no hidden, you know, transactions being made behind, you know, uh, Mr. Washington's. Uh, locked doors and you got to have a certain clearance to to get the <laughs> to get the information like no it's open to everybody and actually she actually brought this the queen um what's her name uh diambi queen diambi um of the congo and she was like you know one of the examples of the blockchain that she gave and so sound red you know, goes off in all directions i said hello in front of me somebody behind me go here sound is round sound exactly. is round exactly spherical it's going it's, it's it, it goes in all directions. So when you know, we only heard uh, a lot of natives or on the continent, like original names, OG names to be like, I don't know, 13 syllables, you know, you know yeah. uh, Ujojobi, Mululu, Manufai, like, it was like, what? The, so when so somebody, if you're talking to the tribe, talking to the people, introducing yourself, when you said your name, they knew your grandma or family right. you were from, right. granddad, they knew your mom, dad. They know the village you're from. Right. They How you say that? They know your accent, your, your dialect. And what they, part of them, <laughs> it's like some of them even gives you like what day they're going on. Wow. All at the same time. Like when you're listening to your name, you got all this information to move forward and determine, okay, it, are we going to accept in this person? Or are they you know, giving us, uh, what, you, you know how to move now because you have enough data to decide how to receive, how to move next within the next uh, transaction between you and that person. And mm -hmm. I'm like, she's like, yeah, we, we've been doing this. Like, this is, this That's is crazy. It. This is it. Yeah. And so. Authentication system almost. Just exactly. in your name. Just in your <laughs> name. What's That's your that. name? What's the uh, Black Panther? Yeah. Like, what is your name? Don't right, and you're running, you're running in your mind. Like, is that right? Okay, all right. Credit accepted. Credit is that right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, so that that's um, again. So so many examples that again, this is ancient technology finally coming back to the forefront of the, of humanity consciousness. You know, it's just in a different form because we continue to do that. You know, we yeah. I don't even decide when it comes back to the surface. And I don't know who, uh, what his name is, uh, Satoshi Nakamura is, or the family, whoever, wherever. Yeah. We're grateful. We're grateful. We give thanks. Right. It's crazy, bro. <laughs> uh, one more thing. I wanted to see uh, if I could show this. Yeah. Like, this is another uh, example. 
of fractals and that golden ratio that we talked about uh, being used on the statues, like in Egypt, like these were carved from marble, a lot of them, and stone and rock. The, curve, the curves were so perfect in the construction of this face right here. Yeah. They were saying that they don't even think humans could have made it, yeah. right? Yeah. Not, not in this form we in today, you damn right. Take and, out your yeah, and it's like, it, it, but this is basically the definition of a fractal is that individual chism, chasm, that individual cut to create a smooth surface, curved surface that's essentially perfect in nature. You see what I'm saying? Uh, and that's what the Egyptians did better than anything uh, is they represented that golden ratio in almost every aspect uh, of their creation construction, including the Great Pyramids in Giza. While we're on that, man, so we have um, uh, cymatics. So cy cymatics are the shapes that sound makes. And one of the things that we talked about, um, you know, um, I got a machine that actually uh, highlights, highlights cymatics with, with yep. the sand and the crystals and everything. And it, um, and it's perfect. It's like so, sound is perfect. All these variations of it, and it what they talk about. You know, ancient languages where you know these are vibrations. You're moving, you're talking. Like ancient languages where speaking was you know when you spoke something, you speak things into existence. Like before, it was like a telepathic type thing we had, but they have um, sounds that would give you a shape, and that would give you the fractal, would give you the harmonics of um, again, the, the nature of everything we're talking about and how using sound to create something so perfect would, wouldn't be as far-fetched as you know, if you had devices that actually ran on sound, you know, like lasers that actually could, could cut. Right. The, uh, what people don't realize is sound is an energy. You know what I'm saying? It's a form of energy. We just take it for granted because we hear shit every day. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, but what we hear, is like more or less destructive energy, whereas like if you actually right. use it, sound can be a regenerate regenerative force. Uh, that's why the organs, you know, that were built in these megalithic churches, mm -hmm. the reason they called them organs was when you went in that amplified theater, you were actually healing yourself with the sound that came out of them. You were healing your organs. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because it's a low, like especially the belly and the bellows and them pipes, go up 30 feet high and they hit the walls and hit the arcs and you just stand in there receiving it, right? right. right. Um, and especially when they are built, a lot of those big, big churches, the old ones are built on ley lines. So you're actually amplifying the earth's frequency, yeah. you know? And that's another thing to talk about is like the different ley lines, like basically the crystal lattice grid shape of the world. Um, the, the geometrical Fibonacci spirals that run in the planet's core design uh, right. is... Uh, you know, very important in, in a lot of this stuff because it, it shows you that they know more than they telling us. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's <laughs> right. When you find out that the world got energy grids and, and half of these churches are built on top of it, like, how, how come regular people don't know that? You this know? one right here. Like, right, so this, I just did a uh, show kind of about this last week, last night, and I had a, comment, a homie that came through uh, from Philly. Who these are um, ley lines here, ley lines you know, on, on throughout the earth. Well, just on North America side, where you get everywhere yeah. you see these plotted spaces, you would find churches and cathedrals and you know governmental spaces right. or mounds. Right. Homie, what a my homie wrote a book. His name is Ross Ben. Wrote a book called um, uh, "Free Your Mound," and the mounds were little native places where they had mounds and where they used as burial grounds. We're talking about necromancy, you know, using this dead you know uh, technology where they they would put. They will put uh, these cathedrals or governmental buildings on top of native bur burial grounds using our ancestors. They really draw from the dead blood of their enemies. Exactly. That's some spiteful stuff right there. That's crazy. How can you expect somebody with that type of negative karma is going to win over time? Like, it doesn't work like that. Check this out. You see that line running from NYC? And NYC is a huge one. People don't realize how much energy ends and starts there. That's why they call it the Big Apple. 
Because right. it's like, right. once you take a bite of it, you know, everything, everything goes west. Mm-hmm. Um, Miami actually has a Stonehenge circle I built. It's built on that ley line. Did you know about the Stonehenge in Miami? Nah, I didn't. They're probably right about it, right? In, in plain sight, don't nobody know about it. Damn. It's one of the most here. I'll, I'll do this real quick. Yeah, okay. It's one of the most ancient uh, um, sites in America. Uh, it goes back like 10, 20,000 years. Notice they say 17,000 and 2,000, but when they get them numbers, you just add an extra zero, and that's really right. what they mean. Uh, <laughs> so it's between 10 and 20,000. Uh, it is called the Miami Circle, and it's literally just this stone circle that they discovered, right? It's That's not, is that it? That is it. They got these big little rocks there. Um, here it goes right there, right? And it's like this old circle that has like one or two stones in it, but they dated those stones and it's like, and the circle was already built, but this is like right in the heart of downtown Miami and it's 20,000 years old, you know, that people don't even talk about. They don't even know. And they said it was created by an Olmec or Mayan civilization right here in America, you know? Yeah, and it's so much. And so putting those, putting those pieces together in which we are in now, and once people start putting it together, that's going to be that quick, I say that that domino effect, like, yo, 20,000? What do you mean 20,000? That unlocks. So I remember when when we first started um, with computers, well, we started going with computers, and we had, we had to, like, do your profile and everything where it clicked, it clicked as a kid where, like, I could put my birthday, but I could put my birthday, it was, like, 17. So I'm like, who's putting their birthday at 17 something? It would go, you know, you could, you know, go back and put it down. I was like, who's, whose birthday is in the 1700s? Who's doing this? Right. <laughs> it was like, and then they changed it sometime, like, within the 90s um, or 2000s, like that you couldn't, you know, you could only go back, I think, to, like, I don't know, 19 something. I was like, oh, who, was it just a flaw in technology? You know, was people was actually, you know, using it though. Um, but we're way older as a people than they have told us. Uh, we talk about um, antediluvian, that's before the deluge, before the flood, before Noah, before it, it, it was Hindu text, before it wasn't, you know, all, all of them wrote about this great flood across. Right, they don't did. They don't wrote about it. And everything wasn't underwater. Some things were above water, you know? Right, that's right. Stuff highlighted. And you know, so those some of the people or some of the civilizations go back to like, you know, start to find some of the ancient scripts or books from you want to see translated. And you're like, yo, this is, what? What? They, they're telling me I'm about to die from what now? My people been <laughs> going nowhere. Like, <laughs> That's what I'm saying, man. And it's two, oh, and, and going back to the charts, I guess we can finish it with this. It's only two things that exist in the world, fear and greed, right? Everything else is a representation of one of those two things. And so when you look at the charts, right, it's either a red candle or a green candle. There are no yellow candles. There's nothing in between, right? Either the market was greedy or they were fearful of that event of that given day, right? But over time, we can take those harmonics and those differences and basically create a feeling. Is he happy? Is he sad? You see what I did? I just took a combination. Is he elated? Is he depressed? Is he melo- melodramatic? Like, you know, all these different things are different representations of the same system, greed or fear. But creating a mathematical representation, you can create emotions, you know, and expectations. Well, if he feels this way, then he'll do this. And that's all we do with the charts, you know, and that's all we do in the markets. And and I, I use a lot of market psychology. I say, well, the market like this, the market responded this way, you know, because the market is essentially the collective conscience of everybody. All the 10,000 transactions existing per second forever, you know, are captured in that one candle. But then it says plus or minus, green or red, right. up or down. Right. And that's what we use, that simplicity, that duality. You know what I'm saying? This is the age of uh, the age of well, just finished the age of Pisces, I think, or is going into the age of Pisces, one of the two. But, uh, you know, that duality is right there. Mm-hmm. My fractures right here, too, man. Keep, keep, keep them close. That's beautiful. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, man. So, All right, sir. Appreciate you, cool. my brother. Yeah. Again, so we try to keep this going, uh, bringing new new flavor in your ear every time we get it. Maybe while once a month coming through, sharing love, uh, bringing what's new in the marketplace. Uh, we want to get some real one on one, zero 
down to the moment uh, on a weekly basis. Check out my brother Brandon Kelly uh, on his group. I got the page. Subscribe. He has two different groups. You can check out both of them. Subscribe to his page as well as OneTrial.io. We can keep on building, uh, sharing the love, each one, each one. And uh, we're going to get everybody on, on the vibe. Let's be doing nothing but talk hey, about man. you. Yo, man. Like, and that's the thing. I remember seeing a quote that said, if you don't if you don't fit in in this world, that means you weren't made to to, to, to serve it. You were made to create a new one. You know what I'm saying? So it's time to reject and come together. You know yes, what I'm saying? Hey, we unite, right? Yes, sir. Let's get it. <laughs> All right, man. All right, my brother. I appreciate you, brother. You'll find us. Uh, we'll, 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 we'll keep vibing the rest of that top speed. Man. Hope that you yeah. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. Take it easy.